Hi, my name is Esperanza Soriano McCrary. I'm the Parent Engagement Specialist for the Clarksville Montgomery County School System. Through our Family School Connection Parent Engagement Initiative and through these online learning sessions, we hope to connect our parents and families with tools and resources and answer some of their most frequently asked questions. I'm joined by Kathy Phillips, Student Services Manager, and she's here to talk about the attendance policies for military connected students. So Kathy, thank you for joining us. 28% of our students are military connected, and I'm certain you receive a lot of phone calls from parents regarding questions for deployments. Yes, we do. Okay. First of all, the Tennessee state law allows for students to miss certain days when their parent has been deployed 12 months or longer. And the specific details of the policy are they are allowed to miss one day excused before the deployment begins, one day excused at the end of the deployment, and up to 10 consecutive days when the parent returns for rest and recuperation leave. So it, it's, it's good to make sure that parents understand that those days have to be consecutive. They can't split those days before and after the deployment. Right, it would just be the 10 days have to do with rest and recuperation leave, and that is actually a law in the state of Tennessee. Okay, now we also have a policy that covered deployments from nine months up to 12 months, is that correct? Yes, we do. And that policy was written a couple of years ago in conjunction with the garrison commander and surrounding counties. Mm -hmm. And the idea of the policy was because deployments had been changed from over 12 months to nine months, mm -hmm. it would allow five consecutive days either before the deployment or after the deployment for the child or student to spend time with their parent. And in either of these cases, the attendance secretary at the school will mm -hmm. need proof from the military paperwork so that they will know to excuse the days. Okay, now I understand that there's uh, policies that cover truancy um, and, and other attendance issues. Now you have a video that covers those things as well. Yes, we right. do. It is listed under the focus videos on the school system mm -hmm. website and it's titled compulsory attendance. So if a person searches for that, they will find the video. We also have information posted on the school system website that shows what is what absences can be excused and what documentation needs to be provided in order for that to happen. Okay, and if a parent has a question after watching the videos and they still have a question, who do they need to contact first? They should first contact the attendance secretary at their child's the school. school and then if there are further questions, the attendance supervisors at the Board of Education could be helpful as well. Okay, that's excellent information. Th thank you for joining us. You're welcome. That was really, really good information. If you would like more information on our Family School Connection Parent Engagement Initiative, or you would like some information on becoming more involved in schools, please contact me or your volunteer coordinator at your child's school.